Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another RWAP Creations video. As you can see, next to me is my girlfriend Natanae. Say hi to the people. Hi. So guys, today we're here at the Renaissance here in Aruba because normally me and my girlfriend, we love to travel. We travel at least two to three times a year. But as you guys know, to, due to the COVID-19 and all the craziness that's going on around the world these days, we decided to do a staycation sadly this is the last day we are about to go home but before we go home i wanted to show you guys a bit of the hotel a bit of the room a bit of what's going on because just in case if you guys want to come and visit aruba for vacation which you should because aruba is awesome so let's get into it so guys this is our room 2145 So, as soon as you enter the room, to the right is the master bedroom. This one, this bed is one of the best bed I've ever slept on, for sure. It's very comfortable and it's very nice here. As you can see, there's, there's a TV. It's an, Quick access door to the bathroom. This is the bathroom. Shower. You guys can see very nice. This is the kitchen. It's a little kitchen, but it does its job. Has microwave, cool burners. It has everything that you need to use. And here's the living room. It has a sofa bed, a TV, dining area, and this is. We're gonna go outside. Guys, this is outside, the pool area. This is the beach. Right here is the walkway. Guys, this is the lobby. We already checked out. So if you go outside, like this. That building you see there in front of you is the Seaport Marketplace. They have a huge variety of restaurants. There's even a movie theater there. There's a Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, Subway, etc. etc. So, there's the Seaport Marketplace. And across the street, you'll get to the main street where all the shopping is going on all the historical places of Aruba the tower you see it there the Willem the Three Torre it's a historical, historical place of Aruba and yeah guys so guys one of the cool things about staying here at the Renaissance is that they, they own a private island and every guest has a free pass to go to the island so if you see right there, this, there's the, that's the island, private island. They have flamingos, just a good vibe there. So as you can see, the Renaissance is located at the port. To go to the island, you have to walk straight down, take a boat. Actually, one boat is coming here back, back in. As you can see right there and they'll take you to the, the island. So guys, that's it for us at the Renaissance. Now it's back to reality. We're gonna head home and we're gonna start working back on the Eclipse. So see you guys back at home. Let's go. So guys, welcome back. We're back at home. I'm already missing the resort, but I'm also excited to be back working on the projects. I'm going to show you guys a few things that I got for the Eclipse. As you can see here, 
We got a brand new set of coilovers. These are the case port coilovers. If you ask me why I chose the case port, I mean every car enthusiast knows that case port have they have high quality products and they are they are one of the best on the market. And also the color is orange and black, which is the color theme of the Eclipse. So it goes well with the Eclipse, perfect. And also, I got a brand new set of hatch struts. You guys that have car hatchback cars know that these like to go bad, so we have to re replace them, which we're gonna do today. I, I also got a new a brand new AC evaporator those who know Aruba you guys know that it's hot the entire the whole year Aruba has a hot hot weather then the whole year so we need AC I'm going to still use the AC of the car so I still have a few parts coming in for the Eclipse and also for those who are asking for the RX-7, it's here guys, sitting in the shadow, waiting for its turn. I'm very excited to start this project, but as you guys know, this hobby ain't cheap. It takes a lot of money, work, sacrifice. But as we speak, there's still parts coming in for the RX-7. I received the headlights, as you guys know currently has these headlights which I don't like at all but I received the OEM ones from Curaçao thank you for my brother Van Lohuizen thanks also goes to Jarvis and Jon Kelly who helped me bring the parts here in Aruba from Curaçao so I'm very excited guys and let's continue with the Eclipse let's go hey guys let's see what we got here Alright guys, there we have it, the struts, came with the hardware, so let's install these bad boys into the car, let's go. So guys, we're getting ready to install the struts, we noticed that normally from the fabric there's a knot on the other side of this wall here, tacked into place. So I think the weld came off, so we have to fix that and the tools that we are going to use to fix that issue is going to be this one. My father has a special tool. I'm going to use this so we can fix the issue and have the struts installed. So guys, my father already did it. <laughs> he couldn't wait for me, but as you guys can see it's like a rift knot so we went ahead and um, drilled we opened up the hole just a little bit we inserted the the rift knot and then you have to press the machine like that the tool like that and and then then you unscrew it comes out there you have it your new hole for your fittings so let's continue with the process guys so guys right now we're installing the base of the strut and make sure not to tight it hard we have to make sure everything is correctly in place then we'll tight it the way it should be okay so right now i'm going to lift up the hatch and my father is going to insert the strut to the to the ball this wall right here right just it, it just clips into place like that one the same for the other side mm. 
there we have it guys we have our functional hatch back again for those who own DSMs you guys know that the hatch of the DSMs are way 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 heavy they are very heavy I don't know why but DSM hatches are very heavy so I'm glad we have a functional hatch back again all right guys as you can see behind me it already got dark the eclipse is already covered up and ready to go to sleep so we're done for today I hope you guys enjoyed this short video before we end up the video I want to send a huge shout out to Ashley Cardona and her brothers thank you for supporting the channel and also a huge shout out goes to my boy Richard 297 Mots. he is a cool Aruban dude who's living in Texas he just started his own YouTube channel called 297 Mots. he has some cool car content for you guys you gotta check it out I'm going to put his link down below in the description box make sure you support him and if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe share this video with your friends and family the whole world so we can make this channel grow so we can grow together so you guys take care, stay safe, keep it sideways baby, let's go.